the first and an excellent Full-time. songwriter. Oh, an excellent songwriter. Excellent songwriter. And he can sing too a little bit. He just don't do it. <laughs> oh, he didn't know you could sing too. All right. Exactly. Yeah. I like the I like the little bit. Little bit. But, but go ahead, man. Right, right, right. Hold on. All right. How are you, Mickey? Fantastic, fantastic. Now I love why okay, two things we gotta talk about before we get to Smokey. First of all, the Motown special that was out and you were on there talking on CBS recently. Yes, the special was great. Was and, great. I, and I like the fact that they brought out some of the things that people should know about. Yeah. Other than the fact that we were a family, but it was not a walk in the park yeah. at a time when the world was in a strange place. And I tell everybody that was God's doing, yeah. period. You know, so uh, that's where well, I felt about it. in and was telling the stories and all that. And then we also got to talk about this Motown, the Hitsville, the making of Motown. I watched it three times. I was just telling Barry. When you look at those and watch that back, what memories do you have? And we know you as a songwriter, but when you see it and look back on it. I, I, the memories I have is, is the, the camaraderie we had as a group. I mean, nothing could get between us. So that's, that's really, that was really special at a time when everything was trying to be broken up or taken away from people, we stuck together. And uh, that was very rare and very special. You have to look at 60 years of Motown, and you guys keep in touch. You're here supporting Smokey. You don't see that often in the, in the real world. Talk about just being here and honoring Smokey. Well, it's a great honor for the brother because he, I tell him, I said, Smokey, God has really blessed you because you can do anything and come out smelling like a rose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gotta fight my way out. You just walk out. But he always had a he he always have had a great heart. He's a giver, and people who give things come to them. And he's always been that way. I, no matter what, he would stay at the studio longer. He would work with people longer. If they needed something, he would come out of his pocket with. It. He used to make me mad with that. I said, Why why are you doing that? They don't deserve that. He said, Man, but. They need it, you know. He's a giver, and uh, yeah, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. So it's and, a joy uh, being here with, with this, watch that happen. Now, are you still writing some songs? What are you, what are you working on? I am working on. Oh, you're not, no, you're not no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm working on the Azusa revival when the Holy Spirit came down on Azusa Street, on in Los Angeles. I've turned that into a musical, and uh, it's incredible. One of the, it took, this was the longest writing I've ever done. I've written plays and shows in maybe two months and all that kind of stuff. This one took seven months to write because, and I want to say this very honestly, the Holy Spirit would make me go back and change things. I can make you applaud and laugh, but he said, oh, that's good, but I want them to know. And it's amazing. It's been an amazing time for me, and I'm, I'm, I'm very proud that I was chose to do this. Be great. And lastly, we got to ask you, you've written so many songs. I know it's hard to pick favorites. What are some of your personal favorites? Well, my favorite, of course, is Dancing in the Street, because I got that was one of mine. But, but the one that I love more than all is Tracks of My Tears by Smokey yeah. Robinson. Yeah. That, every time that song comes on, it gets to you. No matter where you hear it. No everyone stops, <laughs> everyone sings, everyone at a store. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? <laughs> you have a song. And Dancing in the Streets, I mean, talk about I me. Mean, it's still in generations. The struts just re- just recovered it. I mean, Mick Jagger. It never, it never continues. It well, it was never number. Continues. I think it was number one about four or five times yeah. by different artists, and it's still going strong. I've, I've now I know now there's going to be three new recordings of it yeah. done in a different style. But yeah, yeah. I just heard the rock version of it. He's lying. He's lying. He's lying. <laughs> he's just lying. That's all there is to it. You see? Now you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I just I just told him about you. Yeah. <laughs> I say he can walk, he can step off of, he can step off of a building and land on a carpet. I step off a building and break my leg. Wow. Just said it. He can, oh, I can't say that. Okay, say that. Oh, now we got. What's that happening? I was telling him, I said, this guy is so blessed that he can step off a building and fall on a carpet. I step off a building and break my leg. <laughs>
Jill, come up here. Good, good talking to you.